my friends today we model this part sheet metal part with the dimensions right here you can see also the flat pattern let's start sheet metal part start 2d sketch xy plane and we create some lines line the model is small it is not great i keep press the left button to create this uh, tangencies and this arcs you know the procedure i don't repeat take a look at my former tutorials I, you saw I, I added the tangencies I place this point in the center point then dimensions this is four millimeters then an angle of 15 a line of 20 this is radius 4 this is 15 this is radio 2 this is also 2 millimeters the angle is 100 degrees and the last dimension is 22 this one finish sketch and we use contour flange you see what happens the thickness is not uh, the final value we apply symmetrical and the distance is uh, 15 okay let's uh, modify the thickness if you take a look at the drawing you recognize 15 radius 4 20 radius 4 radius 2 15 100 and 2 the thickness is 1 sheet metal defaults I don't use the default thickness I place here one millimeter instead of 0 0.5 now we have the first volume now we see here two wings these two we start exactly from the end of this line we'll create a plane by using three points one two three and then that uh, contour plane one two three and we change and the dimension with auto resize then we create a new sketch f7 then i 
project these two lines and I use line to draw an arc starting from here keep press the left button go here left up here we check for uh, tangencies I suppose this must be placed yes it is dimension 3 millimeters to the outside equal this arc with this arc I don't draw another dimension 2 millimeters and a distance of half of uh, 11 here 11 divided by 2 one dimension needed let's see what is the other dimension oh this is not vertical vertical this yes now we can try to apply flange or contour flange but they will include cuts and this part doesn't have any cut you see I, I uh, want to say this would be a cut here and also here this is why I don't use flange but 3d model to do this I apply offset of this to go right here yes I didn't select this oh yes I did I draw a line to this end and another line to the other end we still have two dimensions needed let's see what are they 15 and tangency 15 I don't know why but tangency if I apply remove we have one missing dimension I don't care let's apply this to have a fully constrained sketch but this is not uh, important finished sketch 3d model extrude the dimension is uh, 12 the other direction 12 okay we hide this plane and we apply mirror mirror of the last feature about the plane XY okay good other features are in the drawing you see here a slot this one dimensions 10 22 radius 4 on this face we place a slot I prefer center to center you can prefer anything you want 10 is this dimension and twice the radius 4 is the other this uh, line must contain the projection of the center point the distance is 22 from this button end of the axis to the bottom line 
22. Finish sketch. Now we go back from 3D model to sheet metal with a cut of this and we are sure that the depth is uh, the thickness. Okay. Another cut is here, 7 radius 3 and corner round of 3. We select this face, we draw a line to somewhere here, then I keep press the left button to draw a semi-circle and I close this contour to be sure of the sketch. Dimensions, radius 3 and distance of 7. Finish sketch, cut again, ok, corner round, of uh, 3 not 6 then I select the pencil to select edges ok now we are finished this uh, model let's see what about the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the uh, new value is uh, here <laughs> it is just the same. I apply cancel because we keep this uh, previous dimension. We apply the material which is steel carbon. Steel carbon. And that's all. Let's see by comparing the two. You see, they are the same. This was with the selection of edges. Now you see better. Absolutely the same. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.